In this grasshopper example, we'll look at changing the size of objects based on their distance to another object. The first step under the vector tab, point section, is to create a point. We'll use the point XYZ component, which by default will give us a point at the world origin. Next under the curve tab, primitive section, grab the circle CNR component and use the point to define the center for the circle. Next, under the Parameters tab, Special section, grab a Number Slider component and plug that into the radius for the circle. The Number Slider has a default value of 0 to 1, and so we're limited in terms of the size of the circle that we can create. If we double left click in the Number Slider, we can change the upper limit to a value of 10, and now we have the potential to make a larger circle. The next step is to evaluate this curve, I'd like to get a point anywhere along its length. And this can be done through the Curve tab, Analysis section, Evaluate Curve component. Plug the circle into the base curve input for the Evaluate Curve component, and grab another number slider from params, and drag that into the parameter to Evaluate input. Now the number slider, just like the first one, has a default of 0 to 1, and that is only evaluating a small length of the curve of the circle. But if you right click over the C input for the evaluate component, the base curve input, you can check reparameterize, and now the value of 0 to 1 for the number slider will cover the full length of the curve, no matter how big it is. Next, we'd like to make a grid of rectangular points. And this can be done uh, with one component under the vector tab, point section, choose grid rectangular. And by default, just as it did with our point component, we have a series of points and a location for them by default. Under the Curve tab, we'll grab one more circle CNR component and place a circle at every point of the grid. I'm going to turn off the preview for the rectangular grid so we can see just the circles. And now I'd like to control the size of those circles based on their distance from the point on our initial circle that we are evaluating. And this can be done with a distance component located under the vector tab, point section, distance. And we'd like to evaluate the distances between the point on our initial circle and every point in the grid. If you mouse over the D output for the distance component, it'll tell you how many values it is um, measuring, and that is going to be 121 different values here. And if we drag that directly into the radius for our circle component, the circles will be quite large because of the distance value. I'll right click over the radius input and disconnect that. And in order to have the circles be smaller, we'll take this value, this distance value, and we'll divide it by another number. So under the Scalar tab, under the Operator section, choose the Division component. And we'd like to divide the distance value by another number. And I'll use a number slider for that other number. And I'll change the lower limit to 10 and the upper limit to 40 for this number slider. And then take that result and put that into the radius for the circles. And now this number slider acts as an area of influence, really. So you can change the effect of the distance scaling. And if we go back to the first two number sliders in the definition, you can see how that also will affect the outcome of our grid of circles. And that's how you set up a simple distance logic routine in Grasshopper for Rhino.